Imagine that you live in a small country named Beta Brook, nestled somewhere in the mountainside of your favorite continent. Your country has never really been known for creativity, and has thus named every single one of its towns after a single letter in the English alphabet. So you live in town A and have been given a week off. You would like to spend that week visiting friends and relatives in towns B, C, D, E, F, and G, which are scattered throughout your beautiful country. Now, here's the thing. You, like many people, don't like being in a car for very long, and would like to plan out the order of which cities you want to visit beforehand, so you can spend as little time as possible on the road, instead spending more time in each of the individual cities you visit. This problem is a variation on the traveling salesman problem, and is well studied in the computer science literature. It introduces a class of optimization algorithms, one of which is inspired from a rather surprising place. Evolution. See, nature is incredibly smart. Through millions and billions of years, it's found ways to optimize just about everything it does. So it only makes sense for us humans, the newcomers in our universe, to use and learn from methods that have worked before. For this reason, computer scientists have developed optimization tools known as evolutionary algorithms. And today, we're going to cover the most common type, genetic algorithms. In this biological model, a chromosome is filled with genes. Every generation, parents mate and create new chromosomes for their children through crossover events that mix and match the genes from the parent chromosomes. This leads to genetic variations and small-scale adaptations, and if an adaptation makes an individual better suited for its environment, it will be more likely to survive and be selected to pass on its gene. Individuals that are poorly suited to the environment are thrown out. Over a large number of generations, certain genetic adaptations become fixed in the population. In this way, nature optimizes a population to best suit the environment it lives in. In this way, nature has solved an optimization problem. Now, how does this relate to your trip in Beta Brook? Well, let's imagine that your trip is a chromosome, and each individual town you need to visit is a gene. This means that each chromosome represents its own path around Beta Brook. At first, we have no idea which order we should place the cities to minimize our travel time. So we initialize a population of individuals who all travel to each town in their own individual order. We then select individuals based on their fitness or the time it takes for them to return. There are many different ways to do this, but one common way is tournament selection, where we pick individuals randomly from a population and force them to fight in a tournament. We then choose a winner based on each participant's fitness. After selecting the parents, we need to add some sort of genetic variability by performing a crossover step, which is greatly dependent on the system we're working with. For this case, we need to use some kind of ordered crossover operation, like the cycle operator. First, we pick a location on both chromosomes and swap the two parent genes, or cities in this case, at that location. Of course, because we only want to visit every town once, this will screw up our trip around Beta Brook. For this reason, we take a look at either one of the parent chromosomes and switch any duplicate gene. Then we keep swapping until both parents have a complete set of genes again. Now the mating step is complete and we just need to repopulate with the new offspring. Oftentimes, the new generation will keep the best or the elite from the previous generation, but this is not always done. At this point, we could also introduce mutation by swapping towns at random for certain individuals. Once we have a new set of chromosomes, we run the simulation again. Select, crossover, repopulate. And then we run it again. And then again. And then again and again and again, until eventually all of our individuals have converged onto a similar path, which is absolutely amazing. Now, I am not a biologist, and there are so many different variations to genetic algorithms, it would be impossible for me to cover them all in a short video. So if you're interested in genetic algorithms and you want to learn a little bit more, feel free to let me know in the comment section below, and I could potentially make another video about it in the near future. Outside of that, if you're interested in seeing how evolution has created other interesting phenomenon, feel free to click here. Trust me, there is some interesting stuff there. Outside of that, thank you so much for coming in, and I will see you next time. Toodles.